It is Wednesday, May 2nd, 2012, and ladies and gentlemen, this is a surprise. I've been wondering for quite some time where this, where this animal was, and even if it was still alive. I don't even know how many months it's been now since the last time we did a video of this critter. It has been buried down in the sand. I'm offering a piece of shrimp right here to give the scent on this pear whelk, give it the scent of food. The only reason it is showing itself is because it is hungry. And it came up, I introduced a piece of fish to our anemone in order to get the sea star interested in food. Now I've just which brought the whelk up, and here it comes. We've got a couple of folks visiting today from Ohio, and y'all want to come and, and look in closely. You see right there the two pointy things, that's the head. And you're going to see this animal move forward, and with its foot, it's going to engulf that piece of shrimp. Let me see if I can get this cam camera down a little lower. There's the proboscis. See the proboscis coming out? The purple worm looking thing? That's the proboscis. It's getting a hold. Let me move around so these folks can get in for a better look. You see the proboscis right there? All right. Again, this animal has not been seen for months. And when I edit this video <laughs> to post on YouTube and our website, I'll have a better idea just how long that's been. There we go. All right, of interest. All right, here we see this guy up and moving again, sliding back down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna entice his proboscis to come out, whoops, to get this piece of shrimp that I've put down here. You can see the proboscis just trying to come out. There it is. Here we see it reaching. Reach further. Whoops. Okay, now you're gonna watch it disappear. It's hard to know how much this animal is going to eat today, seeing how it's been several months. And when it gets that piece down, we'll most likely see the proboscis come out again. I'll turn the camera off for a moment. While... All right, it is looking for more. And so we'll offer another piece down here. <clears throat> There's the piece of shrimp and the proboscis. The Flash is our friends from Ohio getting photos for themselves. Huh? Now I'm just touching the foot of this animal. The foot is actually sensitive. Can act, they can actually taste things with their foot. And so by touching the foot of the animal, it tells it there is food. Waiting to see if the proboscis emerges again. After this feeding, it will no doubt be several more months before this animal is seen. There it is. 
almost see the radular teeth inside. See if I can get in a little bit closer with that distortion here. There, it's got a whole piece, a whole of that piece of shrimp it disappeared again, being consumed. As I recall from past feedings, that might be it. At any rate, we're going to make that it for this video of the pear whelk eating. Well, our friends from Ohio have finished their tour and left, and it's been about an hour now, and looking back in the tank, and we see no sign of the pear whelk. It has buried itself back down in the sand and will not be seen again until it's hungry. I checked the records and the last time this animal was observed feeding was the third week of June of last year. That's more than 10 months. So it will be interesting to observe just how much longer it will be before we see this animal feeding again.